Hello everybody, this is Backblast. Here I am again on my Chester Zoo build for Planet Zoo. Today we're going to be building this area here which is near to the tapirs and the Andean bears that we built uh, in the last episode. It's um, it's quite an open area, there's not an awful lot that goes in here, it's just a, a case of building the actual enclosure and the building that's in there and then uh, the landscaping and then just making sure that the animals are happy in there and that's about it really. I um, I think it's um, it's a nice enough area. It builds onto the two areas that I've mentioned, the Andean bears and the tapirs, and it, it just sort of enhances that area now. It brings the whole park together in that particular corner of the park. I like it when we put things in and it, it, it makes the place more and more complete. And we're not that far away from actually finishing the old side of the zoo, so it's quite exciting. We'll be moving on to the new side very soon. I'm, uh, I'm not going to talk all the way through this video. It's um, it's quite a simple build and uh, it's fairly straightforward what I'm doing. Um, barriers, walls, bit of uh, landscaping and then making sure the, the animals are happy. And then trying to get the plants about right to how they are in the real zoo without, um, without putting things in that the animals don't like. Um, that being said, I will join you at the end of the video and um, we'll... Uh, We'll have a chat then and I'll, I'll just sort of point out what we've made and how we've done it. But it's quite a short video. Hope you enjoy it. I'll catch you in a few minutes. I just thought I'd uh, join you at this point. Um, it, it's nice to see this roof. This roof is one of the new uh, Australian pieces that's in the game, and it's actually looking like a rusted corrugated roof, which is it's brilliant. It, it actually makes it look as though it's a real roof. I, um, I'm i glad I've got the Australian pack for the game. Um, it, it really does add quite a lot of uh, interesting new pieces. And um, it might mean that I have to go back and change some of the roofs on some of my other buildings just to make sure that I've got the best fit for, for what I can do. Uh, but that'll be a, a later thing, and it'll be something that I probably won't record anyway. It'll just be something that changes. Um, but be aware that I do use DLC pieces in these builds. So uh, if you are loading the zoo from uh, the Steam Workshop, then um, please be aware that I use all the DLC packs. So there we go. I'll leave you with a bit more music and we'll join you in a little while.
And there it is, folks. Uh, that's the end of the build for today. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. It's our um, giant anteater stroke capybara era, area. And it's um, it's unfortunate that we haven't got the capybara in the game to put in the location. But I think the location's turned out quite well. It'll look nice when it's got trees all down this backside. And there's some uh, small monkeys that we're going to put in that area there, as it is in Chester Zoo. But I think it fits nicely in with the, the bears there and the tapirs at the top. Uh, and I think the area is coming on really nicely. I hope you've enjoyed the build today. And I hope that you uh, are enjoying the channel and the, the series that we're doing. And um, if you are, then please subscribe because uh, subscriptions are free and it helps the channel a lot. And that being said, my name is Backblast and I'll catch you next time.